well, we're almost ready to go now and start imaging. There's only one final step we need to do, and this is called center calibration. That means the StarSense Autoguider has to look exactly at the same spot in the sky as your camera. And there may be a small offset, and that is what we call center calibration. It's rather straightforward. I'm going to assume that your telescope is now in the home position in the position of origin. And let's go to the menu and go to the StarSense Autoguider. So I'm just going to press the menu button here, and I'm going to navigate until I find the StarSense Autoguider. Here we are. I'm just going to press enter to enter the menu, and you just scroll until you find center calibration. So now it's asking you, do you want to do it on the current position, but I'm in the home position, so I'm going to go uh, to a, char a star of my choice. I'm going to navigate down and say, yeah, let's do this one. And now it's going to ask me uh, for a named star, yes. And in this case, I've already pre-chosen Vega, and I just press enter. So now the telescope is slewing to Vega, and it'll use the StarSense Autoguider to precisely center the star. Okay, let's look at the computer screen. I'm using a program called SharpCap Pro. So you can see Vega is this bright spot there, the star that we're looking, which is centered in the StarSense Autoguider, but it is not centered on the screen. So now the menu is asking us to center it. So now we use the arrow keys to try and center it. I'm just going to try the right key and see in which direction. You see it's going up. And so I have to go down a bit further. And you just use the arrow keys to more or less center it. So you can also zoom in now to give it a little bit more accurate centering. So I'm going to go on 200% in my case, and this actually looks quite good already. Yes, that is quite good. I'm going to leave it like that and call it centered. So I'm going to press enter right now. And then the second part is to press align to complete the calibration. And thereby the center calibration is complete. So the final step that you may want to take, and which I can really recommend, is to do auto alignment again. And the reason is very simple. Center calibration hopefully has to be done only once, as long as you don't move your camera too much and the star sense auto guider. But because of the offset, your auto line is now slightly offset too. So just rerun the auto align and everything should be nicely centered. Happy imaging.